Hi Virgo. It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 18th through the 24th. This is for the sign of Virgo for the third full week of June. Generally my readings are love readings. And we're looking for future love. That's what we're looking for. I'm trying to change this up. We're going to try to get you some future love here. What's the story? What's going on for Virgo this third week? Okay, well that fell out. King of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now this is in your past position. So there could have been, there could have been a lack of concentration, a lack of focus. You may have had a lack of energy or a lack of passion, but it's like you ha you haven't given up though. You just you still haven't given up. You um, you still got some fight left in in you. It's like you've you've gained you've gained some strength through something, and you're still holding on. Okay, you're still holding on to something. Um, you're determined, determined to make something work. Okay. Um, But we have the Empress reversed and the Knight of Cups reversed. There's, it's, it appears, you know, even though you have this determination, you know, we're moving around the corner, around the corner, it looks like there's, there's still no relationship growth, and I do apologize. But we're going we're gonna to keep going. There you are. Perfect. You guys are probably, uh, you have been reflecting. You've been reflecting on your future, you know, and when you reflect to a certain degree, you may lack energy to do anything else when you're in this period of solitude. So I feel like you have been in a period of solitude um, that was helping you to decide whether you wanted to give up or keep working on something, you know. Um, you had to go into this time of reflection because you had lost your focus and concentration. So I feel like you have become aware, you've become aware of some things, and um, let me just get the rest of the cards. Now you're, you've probably become aware that, you know, I just want to be happy, I just want to be happy, what's going to make me happy? You've become aware that happiness, your own happiness, is more important than anybody else's. I think that's what you've become aware of. Become aware, and this is, I just want to be happy. So, you know, I think there's been some sort of period of, uh, oh, what's the word? Down, down. I feel down. You know, I'm feeling it. I feel heaviness. A heaviness that's been weighing on you. I'm going to get this zoomed in, then we're going to keep going. Oh, that light is shining right in, isn't it? I don't really want to shut that either, and I'm not going to. It will, it will pass. Um, this is the Queen of Wands right here, reversed. So it appears that um, whoever you're dealing with knows, knows that you're struggling, okay? This is how they see you. They know that you are thinking a lot. They know that you are trying to figure out what, what the step is that you need to take. They know that, okay? And it feels as though right now you may feel things are a little bit out of control within your own life, within your own mind, okay? Things aren't where they need to be. Things aren't organized because you've, you've lost your focus. You have. You, you seriously have. You've, this is the basis now of your reading. You may be feeling resentful for what you're going through and that is a normal feeling I feel as though right now um, you even may, you could be feeling resentful and angry for being in this predicament that you're in okay you may feel like there's a loss of self okay because this is this is a loss of self and there is probably some sort of manipulation going on in your life. These are both manipulation, this one upright and this reverse. There's some sort of manipulation, whether it's you or the other person. Your challenge, your challenge is this devil card. Your challenge is manipulation. Your, tra your challenge is temptation. Your challenge is, 
is obsessions. Your your challenge is um, your desires. Okay, that's what's challenging you. Right now, it feels like there's no relationship growth where you're at because you have desires that aren't being met. And you're feeling resentful and angry that you are in the predicament that you're in because your desires, your passions really aren't being met. That's your challenge, okay? Therefore, it feels like your your right relationship, the Knight of Cups reversed, or your romance is headed south, okay? The Empress reversed is um, you how you are feeling in that position. You're feeling a... a Again, a loss of self. You have it twice. You, you're feeling like you don't even know who you are anymore. Okay? And, and you know, that, that happens. We all go through a period of rebirth, and that's what's happening. You're going through a rebirth. You're going through a renewal. It's not over yet. You're still going through it. So you're having periods of unknown. I don't, I'm confused, you know? You're probably feeling um, overwhelmed with your own feelings at this time, okay? Because you have these desires that are undeniable and they keep poking at you, poking, 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 poking. That's your challenge. That's why there isn't relationship growth wherever you're at because you're being you're being challenged by your own desires that need to be met, okay? So I feel as though your advice, this is your advice position. This is what's going to make you happy. It's, it's not about proving yourself. It's not about the status quo. It's not. It's about what's going to make you happy. That that's your advice. You need to do what's going to make you happy. You need to. You need to um, stop wanting to prove yourself. You need to let go of your ego. Okay, the five of swords reverse. You need to let go of your ego. That's advice. It's not about society because society drives ego. It's about what is going to make you happy. That's your. That's your advice. While you're sitting back and thinking about it this week. Are you acting out of ego or are you acting out of love, okay? Okay, and that card would say the same exact thing, the Empress reversed, okay? So, it, it appears to me that your future position, which is this High Priestess reversed, right now, in, in the future, it feels like you're still going to keep this secret. You're going to keep this secret about how you truly feel about these desires. You're going to keep your secret about these secret desires. You're just going to keep the secret because you don't have the confidence and the courage and the strength to face them. Therefore, you're going to continue to feel a lack of of energy, a lack of passion, you know. If, if you don't have enough self-respect for yourself, this is the outcome, unfortunately. This is somebody who doesn't have enough uh, confidence in themselves to take any action okay this is somebody who puts themselves as a victim and stays there because they're not strong enough to step out of it that's the outcome for this week so it appears that you are this is a week of thinking about what's going to make you happy and probably angry about the situation that you're in because it's not fulfilling your desires Whew. Okay, so let's get some advice here. We need some advice. There's a This just fell out upside down. I can't change that. I'm asking for advice. I wanted to see where it was going to land. Right here. Now in the there's a lack of love in this situation. Wherever you're at, it's not love. Or where you were at. Okay? This is the basis now. This is fell in the middle. The middle is the basis. This is the basis. Somebody is no longer in love with the situation that they're in. Okay, we're looking for advice. Yeah, somebody, um, has lost all hope. They've lost all hope. Hope for the future. I've lost hope and love because I'm stuck in this situation. And, you know, you have an opportunity to find something new but you're refusing it you are refusing a new opportunity because of your own insecurities okay it's like you're not manifesting change because you're not taking any action you're not getting creative you don't have confidence you don't you know i'm sorry i'm sorry but there's no and nothing solid there's nothing solid coming out of this because you aren't 
taking any action. There's no action being taken. You've lost your focus. You've lost your strength. You've lost your willpower. And you've lost yourself. There is a loss of self here. Repression. Okay? And I feel like you've lost hope. You've lost hope that your desires are ever going to be met. You've given up. It looks like you've given up. You know, you're, you're, you've... Goodness gracious. What's well, right around the corner, dear God, angels and spirits? You're resisting an ending. This is around the corner, okay? So this death card reversed. You're holding on to something that is dead. You're holding on to a romance that is dead. I don't know what this is. I can't, I don't know. There's no more growth here. It's getting old. And the whole reason you're holding on is because of fear of change. You don't have the confidence to let it end, even though it's going to end. It is. It is. Right now, you're suffering. You're hurting. Because there's, there's no love. You're hurting because there's no love. There's no more hope. And it's time for you to release. It is. It's time for you to release. It's time for you to let go. That's your advice. Stop holding on to an obsession. You're resisting this change so badly. So badly. Now, maybe you finally dis... You're not going to, I can see. That you're going to continue to suffer through this week, although you're still contemplating. This is a week of thinking. Thinking about your security. Thinking about new opportunities. Thinking about what's going to make you happy. Still fighting for something that is dead. Unable to take a risk. Unable to have faith. The fool reversed. Unable to have a new beginning because you are unable to make this change. You lack the confidence to do so. It's time to walk away. You lack the confidence and the strength to walk away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. So I feel like this is a week of contemplation. I'm not going to keep going. It's a week of coming up with a plan for what is going to make you happy. But still holding on to what doesn't. But that hermit card is coming up with a plan, so that's making progress. That's making progress as you come up with a plan to regain your focus. It's like it's been lost. You're, it's like you're living a lie. I'm sorry. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Your feelings are real. <laughs> like I said, there's, there's desires that need to be met. They're real. There's an undeniable connection between you, I think, and another person that you have been denying. And I don't know who this is for. I don't. But I feel there's an opportunity for a fresh start with somebody. But you are too in your own head and scared to make this change that is so desirable within your soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I mean, what more can I say? And on the bottom of the deck, let, good, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Stop resisting it. You're only wasting your, your life. <coughs> anyway, there's a new opportunity for love, Virgo. Should you decide to follow your heart. Talk to you later.